Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Martian, I come in peace, and today we've got a really cool deck for you guys. It's uh, a Clackbridge Troll deck. i trying my best to build around this card. We're playing in Standard 2021, so it's a rotation proof list. And the main thing I built around was Clackbridge Troll into the Massacre Worm. So, the Troll, if you don't know, awesome art, for one. A 5 mana, 8-8 eight, eight, Trample Haste, but when it enters the battlefield, your opponent gets 3 zero, one Goats. And... At the beginning of combat on your turn, they can sack a creature. And if they do, you have to tap the troll. You gain three life and draw a card, but five mana to gain three life and draw a card each turn. Not the best deal. It's a bit slow on the first turn, just drawing one card, gaining three life. Like it is decent value over time, but in a matchup where you're on the clock, even though you are gaining the three life, probably not going to be enough for five mana. So the card on its own, not usually good enough. It is fine, but you really want to be building around it. So. A really good way to just get rid of those goats and let your Clackbridge Troll do what it wants is a Massacre Worm, which comes in minus two, minus two to all of your opponent's creatures. So maybe they're an aggro deck, so you're going to hit some more stuff as well. But even just with the goats, you're going to kill three goats and deal six damage to them, which is awesome. And then your troll can get in and attack. A really good combo is Vivian with the minus two. Whenever you cast your next creature spell this turn, you search a library for a creature card with lesser converted mana cost and put it on the battlefield. So if you have this down on turn five, well, earlier, hopefully with our ramp, which I'll get to, but uh, yeah, you can minus two, play the worm or cast the worm, get the troll out of the deck. It enters first, creates the goat tokens. Then the worm comes down, kills the goat tokens and whatever else uh, little creatures they have on the board. And then the troll can get in immediately for eight hasty damage for five mana pretty damn good and the curve might look a little bit silly but that's because the beanstalk giant is in here as a ramp spell you might be questioning that but it's because our main plays are five mana so our, our clack bridge and our vivian are what the deck really rem uh, revolves around so we want to be going three mana ramp because the way you want to think about ramp if you're new to the game is if you're hitting your land drops which we should we have 26 lands i think 20 25, still a lot. If you're hitting your land drops, if you ramp on turn 3 to get an extra one down, then on turn 4 you drop your land drop, you'll have 5. So you're basically skipping one turn. So if we're, if our main plays are 5 mana, we want 3 mana ramp to skip to 5 mana. And if we want to get that 3 mana ramp, then we want 1 mana ramp as well. The only option, I think, in the, the uh, post-rotation format would be the goose. So we've got 4 gooses in here, so the ideal uh hand i guess would be a goose into cultivate or um fertile footsteps and i really like the fertile footsteps because it searches for any basic land whereas things like what is it the wolf willow haven's a great option but it only adds green mana and our play is a heavy black mana so we can't do that and same with the lenawa visionary only adds green green mana so we've gone for the fertile footsteps which also uh, the, the land doesn't enter tapped, which is pretty awesome. And it gives us a threat later in the game if we need it as well. Adventure cards are just really nice. Cultivate the stronger ramp spell because it also puts one in your hand to guarantee the fifth land on turn four. And since we want to be ramping on turn three, we're fairly light in the four drop slot. Kavek, another way to deal with the goats because it gives them minus one, minus one. And a really cool curve out is obviously Kavek into Clackbridge Troll. The goats will be going instantly, get in with the big hasty boy. Extinction event, really nice sweeper. Also works as targeted removal because you get to pick the mana cost. So uh, great for clearing the board early game, but then it can also be used with the troll because it's an odd CMC. Tokens are going to be even because zero is even. Get rid of the tokens and get in with the troll. So yeah, it's just an option, but it's a great card on its own anyway. That's what you'll find with a lot of these cards is they're solid cards, but they work with the plan. Got some two mana plays, a 2-2 two -two split of Remorse and Heartless Act with four Eliminates. Black has some really nice two mana spells. So yeah, we'll, we'll fill up on those, but hopefully we can skip them with the goose, but you're not going to hit it every match. If we had like Grazer still, or if we had a Lana or Elves or something, I'd play less two mana spells so we could reliably skip from one mana to three mana but you're not always going to get it but yeah that's the deck uh since we are playing standard 2021 no sideboards but 
I wanted to mention Necromantia as a sideboard piece uh, because against like combo decks and stuff, this is already a fine card. But if you get stuff out of their hand, they actually create a 2-2 zombie, which is going to be good for you for the Massacre Worm. Gives you fuel. If there are any cards I'm missing, let me know because in older formats, you've got things like Blood Artist, you've got lands that create 1-1s um, one for your opponent, things like that. Um, the Hunted Troll, plenty of things to fill your opponent's board and make this strategy a lot more based around the Massacre Worm finish. So you would have the Blood Artist out, you fill their board with stuff, you Massacre Worm, they lose two life for every creature, and the Blood Artist pings them as well. But if there's something I'm missing, let me know. So yeah, that's uh, Massacre Troll, as I'm calling it. If you enjoy, drop a like, consider subscribing. Let's jump into some matches and see how we do. Alright, we've got a match here against Babsy. We've had a season reset, and I didn't climb a lot last season. Usually I try and get Mythic, don't always get there because sometimes you don't play enough. But this season I only got to Platinum because I was just playing silly decks and doing a lot of drafting. So down to Silver, um, but we're going to mulligan that one. I mean there's a chance we scry into a land, we've got the Goose, we've got the Footsteps, but we'll mulligan. Much better, two Trolls, not optimal. Maybe we ditch one. Keep six, we'll probably ditch a Troll here. Lands are going to be nice. At least we guarantee. And I guess we don't need the goose right now, but we may as well. We got a hello from our opponent. Sorry, I'll, I'll hello back. Um, kind of tempted just the temple here, but I, I got to get the goose down just in case we draw that three mana around because we have the troll. And yeah, if we if we get a cultivate or a fertile footsteps, we'll regret not playing that. Okay, that's a nice curve out as well. We're gonna deal with their one ones. Which is awesome. Goose survives. Kavak as well. Don't worry. I thought about that. <laughs> the Scry Worm. I don't actually... I could be wrong here, but I don't think we're going to want the Worm. Because we're going to go Kavak into Clackbridge. And I don't, our opponent's probably not going to run too many small creatures. Like anything with two toughness. I think Kavak's going to deal with the one ones. Honestly, wouldn't mind if they played... Um, Oh, I wanted them to play a green mana and play two... Okay, that's good too. I wanted them to play two Edgewell Innkeepers. And I would just absolutely ruin their day. Okay, so I saw this deck. I think it was Covert Go Blue. Covered it. We're fine with those mills. Those are good. Yes, yeah, so it's a Simic Adventures list. Which is really interesting. But yeah, it seems pretty good. Um, I think we definitely want to ramp into this. Hmm, actually definitely is a strong word, isn't it? Because if we ramp into this, we can't ramp into the troll. Do we hold up and eliminate? So that's the that's the issue with Goose as well, is you only get the one ramp. Um, generally speaking, I'm just going to pass and hold up the eliminate. Opponent, love struck beast. We will eliminate that. Thank you, opponent. And, yep, we'll block one. And I think we're still just probably put Kavik down. Ooh, Cultivate. Just a bit late there, Cultivate. Grab the black mana. And it's Kavik time. See you later, boys. No attacks from the goose. Opponent, love struck beast. Merfolk Secret Keeper, we're fine with those plays. And here comes Clackbridge Troll? I think so. You have the opportunity to play the troll, I think you should. Because we, we also had the op option of uh, Cultivate into Heartless Act. Decent option. Okay, they're going to sack that, yeah sure. Massacre Worm, probably not going to do a heap in this matchup to be honest. Still a big boy. Uh, Euro, so they're going to be able to get that pretty soon. Yeah, I think our opponent was supposed to mill themselves. So they might be new to the deck, but I think you mill yourself to start with so that you have fuel for Euro and you mill your opponent when the game drags on a bit, when you've got the um, the Clover down. Okay, see you later, Edril and Keeper. <laughs> they're reading Kavak. Oh, they're not. Okay, they can keep milling us. They're not going to be fast enough. That's perfectly fine. We will cultivate. We will heartless act. This is going really well. Get to play one. 
Heartless Act. Destroy Love Struck Base. And get in for 10. Awesome. Well, I was really unsure if this deck would be remotely good. I threw it together at work today, literally just thought of it in my head. <laughs> and seems to be alright so far. I think Covert Go Blue said he thinks this is the best deck in the format, the Simic deck. And we haven't won yet, that's for sure, but doing pretty well. So I guess they're going to sack here. We've got no way to kill Mr. Secret Keeper. Probably just keep ramping and get a huge beanstalk giant, I think. Because uh, Massacre Worm not doing a heap for us. Go to combat, let him draw us a card. I mean, all they can not, that would be even better. <laughs> nice extinction event, that probably will come in handy. Gonna be great against the Euro. So I think we've got this one in the bag. I think. Barrel, uh, they get to bounce two creatures, damn it. Maybe I've spoken too soon. Resolve. In that case, that that actually works out pretty fine. We can footsteps. Grabbing another Phyrexian Swamp. Kovac. Pass the turn. They probably grab an Euro here. We Extinction Event while our Clack Bridge Troll isn't down. Hitting odd. And should win the game from there. They did get to draw a card, so... Just gotta hope they don't get too much adventure value going. I guess our deck is halfway through, but... I'm liking where we are. I'm liking it. Another Clover. So, any adventure spells from here are huge from our opponent. I guess we cultivate into Extinction Event. Because we can't Extinction Event into Clack Bridge, unfortunately. Let's cultivate... And we're getting all the lands out of our deck here as well, which is nice. Play the land for turn. I mean, we could clack bridge, but I think this is better. Even. Sorry, Goose. <laughs> I meant odd. I even said even out loud. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, I think I just threw the match. Yep. I completely... We would have won that, too. I meant to click odd, but I said, sorry, Goose, who is odd, <laughs> and clicked. Alright, I'm skipping that one up. <laughs> that is, uh... That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. <laughs> I'm sure you guys find that funnier than I do, because... <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? Uh, at least I know we should have won the match. I think we would have, unless they drew a heap of adventure stuff. I don't know. I think we would have won that. Alrighty, on to our second match here. And I'm going to be very careful with this extinction event. But that's a really nice curve. Happy with that. Don't need a worm. We need a big old troll. And we got time. We got time to find it. Okay. It's going to be the raid bombardment deck, probably. Goblin Arson is an interesting one. Eliminate. Nice card to have here. Might have a Rubber of the Rich or something that we can kill. Hopefully not two one drops. That would be really bad. Hopefully it's just a two drop. We eliminate it. Take the one. No worries. And what do you got, opponent? So yeah, Worm going to be great if we can get to it. Ah. Damn it, I wanted a 2-drop, man. Okay, it's not two 1-drops, at least. It's like almost tempting... ...to leave them so that we can Extinction Event them. So if they go 3-drop next turn, odd gonna be really good. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do that. Okay, we got a 5-drop to ramp into, that's awesome. Kinda wish I eliminated now, but <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? Ah, uh, we'll Extinction Event, though. Grab one for Esto. Doesn't matter which one we put down. Pass the turn. So we're taking two here. If they have the Raid, uh, raid Bombardment, even more. That is exactly what I wanted, though. 
That's what I had in mind. Extinction event. I'm sorry, opponent. We will be clicking odd this time, too. You got unlucky. You didn't get my my missed play. You were just one game too late. K001. Phoenix of Ash. Would have liked to exile that too, but it's okay. We can... We could just massacre Worm. <laughs> you know what? It's like, it's an actual option. But I think... I think we want to try and pull off the, the combo. So we Vivian, we plus. There's a KO back there. This has reach. Yeah, I forgot to mention the passive lets you find your important creatures as well by looking at the top of your deck. Just a really strong card. We don't have a heap of creatures. It's not the reason we're playing it, but it's a bonus. Will our opponent forget about the reach? Looks that way. Unless they've got a pump spell. They're reading it. Nah, yeah. They didn't forget. No, don't have double shock, man. Ah, I really wanted to minus two the massacre win. Like, we're gonna win, <laughs> but that's annoying. <laughs> don't let me do my cool stuff. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Kovac might force the scoop. They've used three shocks. If they have the fourth, then... Oh my god. Okay, stop. At least it's not the fourth shot. <laughs> but, damn. I really wanted that Kovac to stick around. But we can hold up a heap of Eliminates here. Could argue that we should just get this down. No, that's cool. That's cool. So we... We will eliminate that. They'll get to create a token, then we'll win the token. So yeah, no point in eliminating the champion. Just hitting us for one. Eliminate. Annex. Make your tokens. Resolve. Pass. My turn. Clackbridge, just late. Just a bit late, mate. I guess we should. Yeah, we should. Alright. <laughs> We're pushing it a little bit here, but we get to gain life draw card, we've got eliminate, so it's safe, and Massacre Worm gonna deal a heck of a lot of damage. Oh, they let it go. We'll attack though. We're just blocking one damage. Let's attack. We've got an eliminate. Bang, and this could win it. If, oh, please be a two drop and a one drop. No, it's a land. So here comes the Phoenix, you would assume. This deck's sick. I love this deck. <laughs> Maybe we're just getting really lucky, but it feels solid. Like, we're playing good cards. Like, other than the Clackbridge Troll, everything's like... And I guess Karavek. Everything's at least decent, though. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like, should we eliminate to save life? Or... Maximum Massacre. Wait, it doesn't matter. We win. <laughs> yeah, what am I talking about? <laughs> Alright. What did they get? Cultivate. Yes, nothing. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. My turn. Massacre Worm. Watch this animation. I love this animation. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's... Exactly what we want to do. So I think the first two games have gone really well. First one I threw, but this is going this is going really well. Alrighty, third match here. Another excellent hand. We have the combo. We have Vivian into Massacre Worm. Please just let me do it. We won that last game convincingly, but didn't get to pull off the Vivian into Massacre Worm because they double shocked our Vivian, which I was really upset about. So fingers crossed. Temple to start. Uh, I guess, yeah, we want the land, actually. Do we? With Cultivate. Yeah, we're going to take it to... Oh, we'd like a two-drop, though. I kind of want to take it to guarantee. Cultivate, we grab two swamps. We're not certain to have the sixth land for Worm. Uh, I guess we draw a land between now and then, surely. Prefer to have a two-drop next turn. 
Another worm. Not exactly what we wanted, but we've got some little boys that we know we'll be killing already. That's good at least. It's probably going to be Simic Adventures again. Seems to be the new hotness. Another Vivian. Okay, we're going to have a couple shots at it at least. Maybe I'm going to regret not keeping that land, man. Am I? I'll be very upset if I don't hit this six land. Come on, just let me do it. <laughs> just let me do it. Radiant Fountain. Uru. Island for our opponent. That's not too bad. Yes, we hit the land. Thank goodness. Alright. I'm loving this start. Please no brazen bow or anything. There's a clack bridge as well. We get, we've given away our strategy, but oh. <laughs> I'm actually going to go... I'm thinking reach in case there's a borrower, but I'm thinking vigilance so I can get in and stay up to block. It's probably the way to go. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty. Big ol' lovestruck beast. They didn't play the one mana part of it, which is annoying. They know about the massacre worm, I guess. Has someone else... Ah, damn it. Just let me do my combo. <laughs> <laughs> no, so they played it because they wanted two mana for that, but little do they know, they, they're they very lucky. <laughs> uh, I think I just Vivian again though, to be honest. I just so desperately want, because we could clack bridge, then massacre worm. Alright, we will. And then we can Vivian into an another one. Because this, this is a lot more likely to stick around. So they sack one, cool. No attacks. Yeah, Vigilance not so good when they've got a big old Lovestruck Beast. Opponent, no cards in the grave. Yes, I mean, they're gonna draw heaps of cards, that's bad. Come on, man, play your one mana spell. <laughs> they didn't have the green mana to do so. They just keep getting away with it. Because they should have two more 1-1s one here. They're gaining a lot of life with these fountains. It's pretty annoying. But our life total is still nice and juicy. Yep. Wish I had a disfigure in hand right now. <laughs> minus two, minus two. Just block it. And... It is Massacre Worm time, opponent. <laughs> You do not have a two mana counter. What? Main deck essence scatter? Nah, they're gonna bounce this, aren't they? I mean go for it. Bounce it. I'll stick I'll stick it. I got another massacre worm. Yep, the bounce. And now we have a big old six five as well. Oh and if So Massacre Worm just isn't just for the turn. It's whenever a creature an opponent controls dies. That player loses two life. If this thing sticks and we can somehow get more things on their side of the board and another one, then it's double triggers, baby. Vigilance, there's a 3 3 right now. Hell yeah. We're back on top in the life race. Love struck base, cut and attack right now. They do have a bit more fuel now. Damn it. Henge means this comes down, draws a card, plus one counter. No. Love Shock Beast. God damn it, man. Henge was a really good draw for them. Because it gains them life every turn. They have so much life gain, man. Stupid amount of life gain. Because I, I really wanted to keep this up. Like, it might be our only way to win, realistically. But we can't let them just get through. Or oh, can we? No, not going to block this turn. Big risk here. Really big risk. But... We gotta take some risks. So we can ramp and grab Clack Bridge, ramp and grab Vivian. Actually, if we ramp, what are we at? We're at 8 mana, so we'd go to 9, next turn 10. It's just not quite enough, is it? Clack Bridge. 
opponent gets to tap it down. And if they have removal, we lose. Because we can block. One, two. Please, no removal. Fay of Wishes, gonna grab something. Probably sleep here. Oh, uh, actually, they don't have the. Primal Might, and we skip it up. Bad luck. Should have played Vivian that turn, actually, but I don't think we had much chance. Either way. Alrighty, we're gonna match here against Dr. Snuggles. That's what I'm talking about. Not a great hand by any means, but we'll keep it. We've got all the pieces. Uh, just two tap lands. Goose. Yeah, it'll be. See what happens. We'd like to draw into a land and cultivate, please. Nope, not that. We need lands. Scorpion. So some sort of aggro deck. We go Goose. We go Temple. Show me a land, show me a land. Yep, we'll keep that. So next turn, play this. It means this is untapped. Turn four. And we can drop the troll. And yeah, if we can make it to the worm, we should be in pretty good shape. Got an eliminate next turn as well for any big scary boys on turn three. Maybe a Lurus or something. Opponent, time is running out. Show me what you have got, Mr. Dr. Snuggles. That's Dr. Snuggles to you. Uh, okay. Land a Rooney, and that will be a pass the turn, holding up an eliminate. And yeah, if we don't need to use it, we can create another food here, which is what I really want. Because then we can go. Ah, uh, we should probably kill that. Do we need to though? Yeah, we have to because it's gonna sack our at things. So yeah, we gotta kill it. <laughs> See you, mate. All right. So they're not not too fast to start. That's good. Very interesting deck though. I don't really rate that card, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's decent. Grab. A Phyrexian Swamp. And we could ramp here. You're right. You are right. I think you probably do. If you can ramp into a Vivian, you ramp into a Vivian. Seems smart to me. And what do we got on top? Land, yes. Perfect. Vigilancy. Alright, this seems to be going well. Seems to be going well. Um, so yeah, what I also forgot to mention is minus two with Clackbridge, you then grab, uh, Kervec. Another awesome little interaction. So yeah, we're gonna kill this thing. Oh yes, we are. Oh yes, we are. Minus two. Clackbridge. Oh, I love this deck. Kervec. See you later. See you later to the token. Doesn't even enter the battlefield. This deck is awesome. I love it. I'm going to be playing this all night. As soon as I turn the camera off, I'm, I'm still playing. This is so fun. Oh no, a zero one one Scorpion. Whatever will I do? Yo, if I hit a land that turn, that would have been insane. Because I would have got to minus two again. Worm, grab another clack bridge and that's GG. Oh, let's give it up anyway. <laughs> awesome. That went really well. So a 2-2 two and two should be 3-1 uh, and because should have won that first one, but what are you going to do? Alrighty, on to the fifth and final game here against San. Not the best again, but we keep it. Got our main pieces. Got a goose. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose we keep it. We'll keep it. I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to tap it in without any worries. By I'm sure I mean 
we will do that this turn. So we're not going to hold and eliminate up. Oh, yes. Another land. I don't know. I kind of want to dig for a cultivate, but I think it's safer just to guarantee our land drops. Remorse. E. Damn it. I mean, if they take these, we've got time to find them. They're probably going to take... Okay. So they see what we're doing. They see. We get to make more food here, which is awesome. Always want to make more food with Goosey. Maze Mine Tome. We do not mind that. I guess we do, actually. <laughs> it's very a bit slow. God, if we had the... Yeah, our opponents just keep disrupting our plan, <laughs> which is what you want to do in a game of magic, but it's just annoying. Let me do my fun stuff. <laughs> Maze Mine Tome. Yeah, actually going to give them a lot of value here. Using a page counter just to scry though, that's not a big deal. Simulacrum. We will be leaving that. 2-2, two, two, not an issue. We've got a worm to clean it up. Not going to waste an eliminate. So our opponent's some sort of Golgari ramp deck as well, which I wouldn't assume would be too common, but there you go. Got plenty of foods to ramp with. Got to carry a Vec. So yeah, we just... Oh, we needed that troll, man. We needed it desperately. We will just worm, though. Get a big boy on board. If they have a Heartless Sack, it's going to be unfortunate, but... Kill this. They draw a card. <laughs> Yikes. Not going well this one, but we'll see. If this can stick, then I guess we're doing alright. Look at the art on that thing, man. I love it. Massacre Worm is the boast. One to the top. Damn it. So they've got removal, you would have to assume. There's no casualties in this format, so that's a positive. What would our opponent be ramping into? Simulacrum. I mean, having artifacts leads me to believe Ugin, because colorless stuff. Okay, at least we've got a threat soon. Can't play it just yet. We will attempt to get in with Massacre Worm. Assuming it'll be unsuccessful, we'll try. Heartless sacked, as I said. Sorry, Massacre Worm. We shall ramp. We will grab a Swamp. We will play Karavek, because why not? Gotta get it down, just in case we top deck a Clackbridge Troll. I would love to. I would really, really love to. And then, yeah, it also means our opponent's not going to kill the goose. They're going to kill Karavek, so guaranteed to get this guy next turn. Uh, and that's not good. I hunt bigger. Not good at all. Looks like you're not fit to Damn. That's a Garuk, ladies and gentlemen. That right there's a Garuk. We shall play big old beanstalk giant. We can extinction event the Garuk's tokens. And yeah, it's only when they die, so. Not the end of the world. This has to live, though. Oh, we can't get rid of the Garrick, and then it's gonna be tough. He's gonna be tough. Zero. Yeah, I wonder if Garuk's gonna be, like, legit in post rotation. I doubt it, but. Seems good here. Damn it, another land. Okay, we'll remorse first. Another Garuk and a Gargaroth. Holy moly. We have to take the Garuk, but Gargaroth is not good either. At least these are all lands. We've got a big blocker, so not the end of the world. Even. No misclicks there. And Beanstalk, see you, Garuk. So, gaining some control of it. These Maze Mine turns, let them draw every turn. Yeah, not looking good. I think we're going to get 
grind it out of this one. We'll end 2-3, and I think this deck is a lot better than that. A lot, a lot better than that. Alright, please don't remove my Beanstalk Giant. I need it to block the Gargoth. Or they get lots of value. Now they're eliminated. Damn it. Not good right here. Whatsoever. Yeah, I obviously don't think this deck's going to be meta or anything by any means, but it's just super fun. Um, if we get some pieces for it in Zendikar, which spoilers started today, check them out. So, goddamn exciting. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Nissa, slightly concerning power level, a little bit. Lotus Cobra into Uro sounds pretty damn strong too. <laughs> um, no. No! Well, yeah, that's just GG. Elder Gargaroth gains too much value here. I feel like I often end on a loss. I often do. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to skip this one up. If you enjoyed, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.